So for a while, I've been saving glass jars from food. I was saving all the honey jars and salsa jars, but I have two rows of this and it's just too much. So I'm gonna declutter at least one roll. Um, and then I have Tupperwares in here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of some of the plastic ones. I'm gonna declutter. It's just be like a short declutter video. But I am in the declutter mood. So while I'm in this decluttering mode, I'll share what I'm decluttering. So I'll put you right here by the dish rack. I have all these covers. I thought I don't know where the jars are, so I'm gonna start decluttering some of that. I did this cabinet too about three weeks ago and I did get rid of quite a bit but for today's declutter this is what I'm getting rid of from this cabinet and for this I'm still gonna go through this I know I have a problem with collecting glass jars these are like all food jars I need space in my cabinet it's like driving me crazy that I can't fit my dishes in so I'm gonna go through that right now. These jars I really like, but I don't like the ones with the ring. I'd rather it just be just one lid. So I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, this one is a nice jar. Look, it's a square rectangle jar. I'm keeping that. I like the shape of that one. I'm gonna try to get rid of the ones with like the Tostito lids. I'm try to keep the ones that are best. Maybe just the clear and gold. This one's a nice one. This one again is the two-piece lid. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Two-piece lid again. Nope, I'm just not reaching for those ones. These baby food jars are so cute, but the only thing is I can never get them to close completely. They're always like, one side is like lopsided like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of this one. This little jar I like, this one closes really well. I can put like baking soda inside. Um, this one doesn't have a cover. Um, no jar for these. These have no jars, so it's going. Okay, I'm gonna try to limit myself to keeping 10 glass jars. I know I have some in use in the pantry right now and probably some on the dish rack, but for right now, I'm just gonna limit myself to 10. And that way it can just fit on one shelf versus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, I am one too much. Let's see which one I can let go of. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna give myself 11. I've already got rid of all of this one. So these are gonna get thrown away. Um, these three mugs, I'm gonna donate to the thrift store. They're still in good condition. These are gonna get thrown away, like all worn out Tupperware. So that can go. These don't have the other size. So this one doesn't have the container, just the lid. This one has a container, but no lid. And getting rid of that KFC containers. This is what my cabinet is looking like now. My jars are at a much more reasonable size. And I do have um, a dish I can put up here and it's pretty big. It's in the fridge right now, but when I wash it, I can store it up here. I'm like obsessed with these vintage containers, the glass ones. I love that it's glass and that it has the lids with it. Look how pretty. This one is Corningware. I love it. I love glass containers, especially the vintage ones. I always try to keep an eye for those at the thrift store. So this took me about half an hour. This is my declutter load for today. And oh, it feels so good to clean things out and get things moving that we're not even using. So I'll start here on the left. So I have this Singer sewing machine. The case is pretty rough. I bought it like that. I bought this used at the thrift store for $5, like I think a year ago. and. Still haven't used it, not once. So I'm gonna pass that along. At this point, clothes is so cheap. I can get clothes for free or for a dollar. And so I don't see myself sewing anytime soon. And then I'm getting rid of these vintage books that I got at the thrift store. I thought we would use them. It even has the cassettes. Like these are so vintage. But um, I was trying to get my kids into this, but they weren't really into it. So I'm going to donate that. Next thing I have is this juicer. I got this at the thrift store for $3. And this is like a great like heavy duty juicer. It's really heavy. Feels like a heavy telescope that should be in a lab or something. But um, yeah, I'm going to be letting this go. We just don't juice often enough and it's pretty big and bulky and heavy. And so, yeah, I'm just ready to let that go. This crock pot. This is the second crock pot that I've had and I donated my first one like years ago. And then when this whole pandemic thing happened and the thrift store opened back up, I guess I got into this like scarcity mindset or like survival mindset like oh no i'm gonna need a crock pot and you know what it's been a year and i still haven't used it same like the sewing machine same reasons why i bought it is i thought oh my gosh you know with these shortages and everything i'm gonna need to learn how to sew and i have to use my crock pot and it's been a year and i haven't used it so i'm gonna let it go Next thing I have is this rack that goes over the washer machine or the dryer to hold storage, but I just don't need it anymore, so I'm letting that go. I have three mugs and then the glass jars here, rollerblades, um, a bag of clothes. These are all from my three kids. My son decluttered his clothes and then the two littles, I cleaned out their closet. and. This is everything that I just decluttered in 30 minutes. I just did a big donation load last week. I don't think even a week ago. And I donated five trash bags full of stuff and they were stuffed full. Um, I didn't get any footage of that, but I can put a picture in the description box. It was mostly clothes and bedding, blankets. I had some um, hanging shelves that I've had for years and we just never hung it up in that donation load. But yeah, so that's everything that I decluttered for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.